right, well, fundamentals of gas cutting and welding. Section 4, safe work practices. Section describes safe practice developed with the experience in using welding cutting equipment, continuous research development, field experience, result in reliable equipment, safety installation, operation, safe surfacing practice, accidents occur proper because of the improper equipment use of the maintenance. Some of the practices are based on common sense, other make and technical volumes to explain the event of the rules should be followed. The work area. The work area must be have fireproof floor or concrete at best use the heat resistant shield to protect walls and unprotected floor from the sparking of hot material, metal, un oxygen, and itself will not burn however the presence of pure oxygen will accelerate the combustion cause materials to burn with great intensity use table and fire for proof since hops fire breaks will work well with the protect table and benches surface check chain or otherwise secure cylinders to the wall bench cart keep the errors between you and the cylinder valve uninstructed keep cylinders clear errors when they are the way they are will be struck or knocked over um, post no smoking what signs warning sign in the area has its fume of accumulation ventilation make adequate ventilation to prevent accumulation of toxic fumes and gases refer to the NAS NASI standard Z49-1 working with the confined space only when work only work in a confined space only when it's being ventilated when working in an air supplied respirator do not use oxygen for ventilation protective clothing wear protective clothing like gauntlet gloves hat high safety toe shoe belt shoes um, shirt collar, protective flaps, button, wear cuffles, trousers to prevent entry of sparks and slag. How, um, hold metal and welding rounds, electrodes, electrodes, shrubs, and workplace which should never be handled without gloves. Wear safety goggles, glasses, and the shields and side shields, appropriate filter lenses, plates, and protected with a clear cover, cover goggles. The most be, the, this is the most weld cutting and the chipping to protect the eyes from radiant energy and flying with the metal. Place the covers, spay glasses, broken, pitted with the splattered, and for the eye protection, refer to the ANSI Z871. Do not wear oily or greasy clothing while in welding or cutting. They are readily initiated with sparks. Wear protection when worked over the head and in confined space. A hard hat shouldn't be worn when others are worked overhead. Fire inspection. Fire and explosions. Fire and explosions can occur with the equipment and proper installed with the prepared and used. But be aware of the flying spark of the flagging slag can pass through the cracks along with the pipes through the window doors and through the wall of the openings out of sight with the goggle operated. Sparks and slag can fly 35 feet. Um, inspect oil, ox oxy, fuel, apparatus for oil, grease, and the damaged parts. Do not use oxy, acetylene apparatus for the oil, grease, and present as damage event. Never use the oil and grease around the oxy, acetylene apparatus. Keep the flames and heat sparks from the cylinder and hoses. And have fire extinguisher proper type with the size of a hand on the work area. Now and where the located in the shop, open the oxygen valve all the way to seal the cylinder back to seal packing. Never test the leaks w with flame or use soapy water. Um, after loot work and complete inspect an area with the possible fires and smoldering areas, fuel leak detection. Joint hoses should be checked for leaks before I welding in his attempted whistle. Wh whistles, acetylene may be detected distinctive smell, usually that levels less than 2% of oxygen and is odorless. Leak detection is be best care for the applying the weak, typically of a, a half a percent of solution of the detergent water leaking detection solution from one of the gas supplies component companies is applied with the joint over the bottom of the brushes escaping the gas will form the bubbles when occurring the, on occurring the leak. The area should be cleaned and removed the residual from the leak detection solution. All right, using oxygen. Always refer to oxygen as the correct name as, say, oxygen never air. It's very important that oxygen may not be confused with compressed air. It uses air and substitute compressed air. Oxygen is not flammable, but even materials that do not burn usually burn in oxygen. They burn slowly and air can ignite the easily burn violently in an oxygen-rich atmosphere. Never use oxygen to ventilate the confined space. Use air to replace the atmospheric oxygen is consumed with the welding and cutting. Oxygen enriched in greater than 23% or oxygen depleted at less than 19% atmosphere should be avoided. Never saturate clothes or oxygen clothing saturated with oxygen will be burned burn intensely and ignited. Grease oil bearings with mater ma 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 metal materials, grease gloves, rags, and other combustibles that can be readily ignited. Present oxygen must be kept for the oxygen equipment. Keep oxygen at least 20 feet from the fuel gas cylinder or other readily combustible materials, particularly grease or oil, or separated with a 5 foot non combustible barrier with a high having a fire resistance rating at least one half an hour. Half an hour. If liquid oxygen is used, cylinders can, must be transported and stored and used in an upright position to maintain gaseous state of the safety devices and prevent liquid from reaching regulator. Use acetylene gas. Refer to the fuel gas and correct name use such as acetylene, not gas. The other gas.
other gases, natural gas, methane, and liquid petroleum gases, and propane and butane are different from the acetylene from each and the other in the height and heat. Into- Untamed flammability limits safe handling requirement, therefore, be specifically referred to any of the gas. The silicon cylinders are, must be transported to the stored in the upright position to avoid discharge of the silicon gas during the rate um, during use. The compressed gas association 5333113 or G1 calls for the withdrawal of the rate not exceeding one tenth of the capacity of the cylinder per, per hour during the intent use of the full withdrawal of the content cylinder with the continuous basic flow rate shall be no more than one fifteenth of the capacity of the cylinder per hour. Cylinder valve immediately closes the valve of the fuel gas cylinder. If the valve leaks, immediately remove the cylinder outdoors away from the possible source of the ignition, not cylinder, cylinder supplies at once. The silicone cylinder's wrench should be left on the open cylinder valve to remove the, after closing the valve. Use only an improved wrench available, available for cylinder supplier. Your pressure regulators never withdraw the gas from the cylinder pipeline except for the, except when um, through an improved pressure reducing regulator. Regulator relief valve designed to protect the regulator from the overpressure of the dot intended to protect the downstream equipment provided such protection with one or more relief device. Never connect a regulator with a cylinder containing gas other than from which the regulator was designed. Remove the regulator from the cylinder transportation with unsecured with the cart or not on design for such a purpose. The long system indicate that faulty regulator leaks is ghastly le- leaks internally excessive creep. Regulatory delivery pressure continue to rise with the downstream valve closed. Faulty gauge. If the gauge pointer does not move of, off the stop pin when pressure is not uh, pressurized, not return to the stop pin after pressure release. All right, cylinders. Cylinders must be handled carefully to prevent leaks and damage with the wall of the valve. Safety devices avoid electrical con- circuit contact with the cylinders, including third rail electrical wires welding circuit. They can be produced with arcs the damage with the cylinder wall, causing possible serious endangerment accident or never strike an arc on a cylinder. Identify gas uh, content using uh, one, only one cylinder with the name, name of the gas with the marked on them. Do not rely on the color of the cylinder. Identify the contents. Notify the su- supplier if the content in the cylinder is not identified. Never deface or alter the name or other markings on the cylinder. is illegal and hazardous. Never use the cylinder contents or other than intended use. Never use a su- support roller or clothes rack. Uh, Support roller or close close rack. Um, secure with the following: always chain the secure cylinder upright and the regulator and the hose is connected to. Transport cylinder with a crane using sub- secure support with a platform cradle designed for purpose. Do not lift cylinders off the ground by their valves and the caps by cha- chains or slings or magnets. Do not expose cylinders to excessive heat, sparks, lag, flame, etc. that may cause rupture. Do not allow continents to exceed 130 degrees. Protective cylinders, particular valve, the bumps and falls of falling objects and weather keep the cops securely tightened over the cylinder, not in use of being moved, struck valve, do not use the hammer valve, hammer and metal wrenches, especially special key, exilitane, open cylinder valves that cannot be opened by hand, do notify your supplier. Cylinder filling should not be modified, used or other than the intended purpose, torch. Examine the seating of the surface of the torch connection before use for the ear of the damage worn damage uh, worn or damaged part shall be replaced. Do not attempt to rep- repair the torches or regulators if fault send to the repair of the manufacturer designated repair center where special techniques and tools and tests are used to train personnel. Torture is not a hammer, never use it in chip slags, stitch misuse the dish torch of the this tor of the torch of the tree that has the appropriate tool for the job. Torch tip of the clean should be used done only with a specifically designed clean up tip of the orifice to avoid enlarging and damaging existing holes. All right, your hoses. Never use a hose other than the design, design of specific specified gas. A spe, ga, um, general hose is identified if you use a red for fuel gas and a green for oxygen, black for an air gas. The RMA C- CGA grade T hose for the fuel gas, including a silicone to prevent hose failures, grade R and RM for use of silicone only. Where ferrules, um, Clamps designed with the hose, no ordinary wire or other substitute connecting hose to fittings. Use only the standard brass fittings to splice the hose. Never, no, no copper tubing splices. Avoid long rows, runs to prevent kinks and abuse. Suspend hose of ground and protect the home from damage of vehicle sparks, slag, or open fuels. Seven hose re- regular leaks, wears, and loose connections. Immerse the pressurized hose in the bubble, indicates leaks. Repair a leak or worn hose, cutting of the other damage in the area and splicing. Do not use tape. Proper connections. A clean cylinder valve with the outlets 
impurities may, may clog orifices, damage seats, and before connecting regulators. When making matching a regulator cylinder before connecting, be sure the regulator label cylinders make a marking agree the regulator inlet and cylinder outlet connections are properly intended services. Do not use pipe compound and lubricant tightened. Do not use the force connection. In connection leaks, close the cylinder valve depression. Pressurize the line. Dissemble the cleaning of the retightening of the valve from for metal to metal. Seating these with the correctable wrench. Avoid the supplier for o ring connections hard tighten. Or avoid adapters being between cylinder and regulator. If unavoidable, use CGR, CGA adapter. Avoid the use for the supplier. Use two wrench in the type of adapter with both right and left hand threads. Regular, uh, a regulator outlet or hose connection may be identified by the right hand threads for oxygen, left hand threads for grooved and hex out of the nuts and shaken on the fuel gas is safety, operation, and use. Acetylene is unstable and pressure above 15 psi. Never use acetylene or any other fuel gas combined. Whether it may be cause the fire explosion, do not open acetylene cylinder valve more than one turn. This permits adequate flow of acetylene from the cylinder. Allows you to close, quickly close the valve in an emergency situation. To open and close the acetylene cylinder valve, the not provided with the hand wheels. Allow the special wrench keep the and provided with the supplier. Leave the wrench in the key position. Remove the immediate use for the necessary to close the valve properly. When the several cylinders remain in full together, a wrench on every cylinder is not required. More than one tenth of the capacity of the cylinder should not be used with the per hour. This causes the silicone rapidly can't come out of the solution like carbon dioxide bubbles violently fizzing, but the fizzing is soft drink that has been not sh has been shaken. Oxygen cylinder contains a pressure of 200 2,000 psi and must be handled and carefully. Impure oxygen will occur accelerate combustion to point in which the cause of the explosion. Do not use oxygen to dust off clothing or work area. Use the correct size wrench when tightening and loosening fittings. They are made for the brass and can be, be damaged easily. When not in use, cylinders must be protected with cap installed. Never use a cylinder that is leaking or leaking air or leakage around the cylinder valve stem that is detected with the valve and has been opened one and one half terms for an oscillating cylinder as far as possible. The oxygen cylinder close the valve tightly and return the valve and return it to your supplier and tagging the cylinder to let them have let him the valve is unserviceable. Stand inside stand to the side of the equipment when opening the cylinder valves open them slowly. This will limit the risk of the injury due to exploding regulators. Only use a friction lighter to light the torch. Well, hot metal metal left out should be marked as hot so others will not burn by it. Use pliers or tongs to grab the hot metal. Do not weld or cut on closing the container. Inspect the hose frequently when necessary to placing them, replacing them. Always keep oxygen silicone cylinders vertically up at all times. Do not store the horizontal position of silicone cylinders are used. Horizontal position solvent may be lost or flame quick. While the team may be effective, store oxygen cylinders separated with the fuel gas cylinders unless the fire resistant non compatible portion at least five feet as used and separating the two types of the cylinders and a minimum of 20 feet separation should be maintained. Well, grease, coal, dust, and similar organic materials are easily ignited, burned, or violently present with the highest oxygen concentration. Never allow such materials to be in, come in contact with oxygen oxyacilitane equipment, including hose oxyacilitane apparatus does not require lubrication. Do not use pipe fitting compound thread lubricants to make connections. Connections to oxygen, oxy fuel gases equipped with design so that they may be tight without need of lubricants or sealants. Over the special in in importance need of the keep of the old materials contained in the oil gas reeds and away from the equipment for the oxygen. Alright, lighting the tor torch. Purging lines um, before lighting to remove the air and all the contaminants of the hose. Open each of the to torch valve to turn long enough for the pure gas to purge out with any of the gas pit mixtures. Shut one of the valves before opening and, uh, the other. Do not purge in on the confined space of the present flame of the other so it's so ignition toward, toward, toward the people. Point tip away from yourself and others when lighting the, using the torch. Spark the lighter and apply the light and the torch. Do not use the matches or cigarette lighter or hand burns as well may result. Light, light as it fouls. Open the fuel valve with ignition for gases following the tip of the just the fuel valve with the flu, full flu, flow without blowing off the adjusting oxygen valve with the if desired frame, flame. Or extinguishing a flame. Um, close oxygen without delay with the fuel torch and valves tightly. Check check the gas leak for the tip of the valve. Le leave the torch in a safe position. Prevent accident dislodging that may open the valves and cause damage. Leave equipment unintended lunch uh, lunch or overnight. Leaving an unintended leave equipment un unintended lunch or overnight. Extinguish the flame by closing the torch valve. Close the cylinder valves. 
leave equipment uh, unattended over the weekend or longer. Extinguish flames or closing torch valves, close cylinder valves, drain gas with regulators, open the torch valve, venting the gas in safe direction, and closing the valve one at a time in the public area to disconnect the stored equipment to prevent unauthorized accident, which caused the create the hazards. Purge the lines before lighting or reusing backfires or black flashbacks. A backfire is a loud noise produced by the explosion of the gas cutting of the welding, typically usually may, following the main, minor flashback of the flame extinguishment and reignition of the tip. The repeated backfire can cause the tip to overheat, eventually cause a sustained flashback and causing bring, bring tip to close the work to bringing tip or causes or bringing tip too close to the work and touching it. Four materials entering the tip impeding the gas flow over tip heated tip, such as causing the working in a corner tight operation and correct the two too low of the gas flow back backfire remedy. If your torch is not stay late, close the oxygen and gas and then fuel gas valve in that order. Um, relight the fuel gas with a spark lighter only if, if if stable. It is not obtained with the adding oxygen. Closing the torch valves. Check the tip clean cleanliness and regulator setting in the purging relight. Flashbacks and its causes flashbacks burn back of the flame into the tip and uh, into through the torch and it is also caused sustained burning into the tip of the torch. A flashback can caused by faulty misused equipment. If it does not cause the fire or hose rupture, then it may be produce a hissing or squealing sound due to the burning inside the torch tip. Usually, at a mixture, example of faulty misused equipment or failure to plug. Failure to purge incorrect pressure, distorted loose tips or adapter seals, kink hoses, closed tip, the torch, or orifices, overheated tip or torches, you stop flashback, do not touch any of the parts of the tip of the mixture, mixture extension that may be hot. When squealing a sound is hard or the internal combustion must be extinguished but immediately shutting off the torch of the fuel gas and the oxygen valves in the light of water. Wait a moment until under until no squealing is heard on reopening the fuel gas valve with the relight. When squealing is not heard, the flashback can indicate for the flow of the hot gas. The tip of the flame is inside with the torch. Immediately shut off the cylinder valves. Wait after five minutes if the torch is regulator or the cylinder are cool. Disconnect the equipment, inspect the torch and regulator and the inner damage. Alright, chemical exposure. Chemical exposure. Le less obvious hazards with welding exposure than harmful chemicals. The exposure to certain metal, metal oxides, carbon monoxide can often lead to several medical conditions. Damage chemicals can produce them from the fuel of the work, from the workpiece, from the protective coating of the work on the workpiece. Lead, cadmium, zinc, mercury, beryllium, bearings, similar materials of the welding can be produced from harmful conditions of the toxic fumes and long term exposure of the beryllium may result in shortness of the by chronic coughing, significant weight loss, accompanied with fatigue and general weakness, adequate local exhaust, but must be made. usually each person is an area you will use the operator must wear and air supply air supplied respirator for burning them must be used other alloying elements such as arsenic magnesium silver and aluminum can cause sickness to those who are exposed metals contain coated with containing materials like eminent toxic fumes should not be heated until unless the coating is removed from the work surface the work area was well ventilated the operator wears the air supplied respirator more common, the anti-rust coating on the man most manufactured metal coating components, zinc, coatium, fluorides, and other often protecting irons, steels, and oxide from oxidization. Galvanized metals have a heavy fat of zinc coating. Exposure to zinc oxide fumes can lead to sickness named metal fuel fume, sickness named metal fume fever. The conditions rarely last longer than 24 hours, but it's uh, still unpleasant. Vapors by chlorinated solvents can be de decomposed with the flame of the heating to from the phosphogen, a highly toxic gas, other long eye irritation products, the uh, ultraviolet radiant energy of the arc can decompose with the tri 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 trichloroethanol or pericolethanol, other than dechlorinated solvent, other than chlorinated solvent vapors of the phosphogen, do not weld to cut where solvent vapors can dur draw during welding, cutting automatic atmosphere. Where radiant energy can penetrate the atmosphere containing the heavy um, minute amounts of sub solvent vapors. Data from the Occupational Solvent Safety Health Administration. Additional information regarding the welding of the, and cutting the safe practices can be found with the standard patent for the ANSI NFPA standard F1AWSCGA National Electric Code Occupational Safety Health Administration local industrial code is provided with the manufacturer requirements and equipment installation and use of service study. Case study. The case is presented with the people that facilitate welding and cutting similar process that provide information with the fire explosion hazards and facilitating acetylene cylinder explosion. An operating well was lighting in the acetylene um, oxyacetylene cutting torch. There was a flashback to the acetylene cylinder, which started to vibrate. The three minutes later, the cylinder exploded. The cylinder split into two parts. The largest spot part sh um, shot through the window and traveled 23 meters before the embedding itself in the embankment of the factory boundary. 
When the workshop was badly damaged, the window was blown out and the roof had collapsed. When the explosion lifted the roof of the main factory building, which had been replaced, the cost of damage was over $1 million. Fortunately, no one was injured because the operator realized the cylinder was in a dangerous condition. He raised his alarm and the factory was immediately evacuated. What went wrong? The operator did not um, fully appreciate the hazard of facilitating. He did not follow the recommendation procedure for the taking the adequate precautions. In particular, the correct lighting of the procedure was not followed. The gas hoses were not purged. The facilitating gas was not re as correct pressure. The gas cylinders were not protected with the flashback arrestor. Flashback can occur with the flame mixture with the fuel gas and oxygen with the hose for the torch with not the stop of the flame igniting the mixture and with the travel backwards from the torch along with the hose through the regulator into the gas cylinder. The flashback trigger of decomposition is still with the fuel hose and the regulator and the cylinder itself. Hazardous acetylene cylinders. The number of the incidents in each ear of the flashback and acetylene cylinders triggered the decomposition, leaving the cylinder in dangerous, unstable condition. An explosion of the cylinder only three minutes after the flashback is extremely rare. In most cases, the decomposition is identified with the early stages. There's a time of the building and then being evacuated. Fire brigade was called for the emergency action to be taken. To make an unstable cylinder, the fire brigade may have the apply with cool water for many hours. It could serve. It would be several days before the cylinder could be moved, and before moving the cylinder could be restart the accelerator decomposition. The incident must be incident put into the risk of the vicinity of the cylinder. Anyone who tries to make the cylinder safe, such as the emergency safe services. Are right, your acetylene cylinders can be used safely? Cylinder cylinders have um, different design, most often than other gas cylinders. Consists of a steel shell containing porous mass. The porous mass is a cellular structure when it's completed and filled with gas. Acetylene gas cylinders develop and the acetylene absorbed with the porous mass decomposition. Acetylene is usually triggered with the heated. For example, the cylinders involved with the fire scorch with the flame with the blowtorch involved with the flashback. The porous mass is designed to slow down the drifle than any of the decomposition of the gas from the starting of the decomposition cylinder exploding should be. Take several hours. This will usually, but not always, provide time for the emergency action. Decomposition can be triggered more easily and can be ra produced rapidly if the porous mass has been damaged. Repeated flashbacks of mishandling of the drop, dro dropping of the cylinder. To the cylinder valve with leaking gas, opening the leakage valve, increasing the rate of the decomposition. And within the cylinder, acetylene hoses above the pressure recommended with the supply for the most welding of the cutting process. The acetylene pressure should not exceed 9 psi. What can, we do, what can you do to prevent flashbacks? Training, just do not use oxyacetylene equipment unless you have been trained. Use correct lighting of the procedure, lighting of the blowpipe, the pur purge of the hose, the opening of the gas supply to each of the hose in a few seconds. It will flush out the flame, will make sure gas in the hose. Purge one hose at a time, close the blowpipe, blow the valve, or after purging, using a well ventilated area. Maintain non-return valves. Fill the non-return valves. Often check the valves on the torch to prevent the back feeding of the gas into the flow. Hoses ins inspect the regular, replace damaged non-return valves. Non-return valves will stop the flashback once it has occurred. Keep nozzles in condition. Um, poorly maintained nozzles can be terminal gas flow, which increases the risk of the flashback. Inspect the, um, the nozzle regularly. Make sure that they are not blocked or the dirt and spatter. But replace the no damaged nozzles. Now, um, not hold the nozzle too close to the workplace. The nozzle can overheat the cause of flashback. If the flashback does occur, immediately close the cylinder va valves. Both acetylene and oxygen. If the same is safe to do so, the flame should go out of the fuel gas cylinder and shut it off. If the flames cannot be put on once they have excavated and call the emergency fire service of the gas supplier. Check an acetylene cylinder which has been involved with the flashback which may have the effect of the fire of the flames to become the warmer or start the vibrate excavated of the building immediately call the emergency fire service to also call the gas supplier. Do not attempt to move the unstable cylinder and direct water spray at the cylinder body. And it's safe to do so. Before using again the flashback, the rest of the other components which may be damaged or the flashback replace the necessary if doubtable and consult salt the supplier backfire and flashback procedures and on after an unsustained backfire in which the flame is extinguished cause close the blowpipe with the control valve fuel gas first check the nozzle tight shut the check the nozzle tight check the pressure for the regulators relight the torch on using a recommended procedure if the flame continues to burn close the action of the torch prevent the internal burning close the acetylene valve the torch close the cylinder valve and gas supply and points isolation both oxygen and acetylene close the outlet adjustable pressure regulators binding and the pressure adjust screws. Oh, and both the torch valve to prevent pressure and, and the equipment closed. The torch valve check the, check the nozzle tightness pressure for the regulator. Relight the torch using recommended procedures. 
If a flashback occurs in the hose equipment, the fire in the hose regulator connection gas outlet outputs. I isolate the oxygen fuel gas supply cylinder valve with the gas supply outlet points only if this can be done safely. If no risk of the personal injury, control the fire of the first aid firefighting equipment. If fire cannot be can be not be put out at once, call the emergency services um, after the equipment has cooled. Examine the equipment and replace the defective components. When the backfire has been investigated, the fault reset rectified with the torch may be relit with the flashback becomes the flame and extended with the regulator is essential not only to examine the torch but the hose and the components must be checked and if necessary to replace the flashback arrestor should be checked. Accordance with the manufacturer instruction with some of the design necessary to be replaced, the fitting of the flashback arrestor is not substitute with the working practices. Always read and understand the safe practice attempting to install with the operated service equipment come comply with the accessible practice of particular equipment used in the instruction manuals, personal safety, the safety of others. Failure to observe these practices may cause the injury, serious injury to death, the habit eventual safety promotes conditional equipment in use. All right, terminology, we're going to skip this. We have read the whole document, so there's pretty much nothing that has left, has um, been left unsaid.